de ba ye kene ni mono no bose nketa ai si na ya de ndi bona ma ta di ko si de um ya bo ibo media ka isi wene o tero ni ya bo nu ko zi di o kempa eh basta ma ka ni ibo and ibo community and ye de bena nigeria ya bi fika ina o tero na ibo media eh di ko isi we de so la yo bona nka bo o bosi zigi ina bi na ni lo akwo na ibo media eka baro ka e subscribe bo and turn on the notification ke la pe miss any of our update di ka ni ti pe ni ba popo wa mbe kwa mbe e di ko si de o wuri ya wete do no bo sin keta bo stamaka ka ya bi face ada and bo stamaka ka ya bi face abotu na ni igbo e bi ko ma cho ki ge ya bi fe ya bo bi from prime minister ma zi samon e pa o wo di foku ni ro kwọ ma choko nge onu ge se bi fe ona drop ora ifu nche ni ro awọ ba samaki yenda ni no wu alright over to you sir the the end bad government protest who started calling for the ibos to end and all of that and you all heard them you are bringing them to fall also thank god but the problem is that you are of the opposing view that since it is not the federal government of Nigeria that conducted the referendum, to an extent you now said yes, even though you might not be, you, must, you are not aware of the referendum, which that you say that other people are talking about this referendum, how they have voted, which come to tell you that there are many other people like you who don't know about referendum, Probably we never know about the referendum, even till you buy and whatever. When you acknowledge that a lot of other people are talking about it, thank God, that is why it is a test of popularity. It is a test of opinion of how many people are involved. And now you talk about the figure, 50 million, and you are not sure if it's up to 250. That means there are people who you know now. Many people are already talking about it, having voted. There are physical one. People killed in line, which there are video evidences where people in the land, in the African land, killed and voted. And those who are in diaspora and those who don't want to take the risk of standing in an election now have to do that online, home and abroad. Now, and the referendum has been carried out. Your point of disagreement is that it is conducted by a non state actor. One, two, that it is not conducted by the Nigerian state and it is not observed by EU, it is not observed by AU, it is not observed by UN and all of that. Is that not it? Is that, is that correct? Good. And I want to ask you, what was the purpose for the UN coming with the doctrine of a referendum being conducted by the government by a functional government. That is, you know, there are different aspects of uh, an ordinary play besides and the referendum for cessation than whichever way that it is supposed to be conducted by the government that is existing. Now, I want to now ask you, because I know you are a very learned person from the way you sounded. You know, because of trying to be politically correct and the obvious act of cowardice that so many people like you are always taking certain position that has been the reason the evil race have continued to suffer to today in the Nigerian state. Because of your cowardice, the likes of you, it did not start from you. Now your question of whether Nigeria, the Biafran people have the right to conduct the referendum on their own is what now led me to bring you to the reason why the UN had to bring the policy or the ideology of the referendum being, or like in our case now, to be conducted by Nigerian states and to be monitored by the EU, EU observers. So that now you now acknowledge a salient fact here by yourself. You see, when you people try to be this politically correct, you end up indicting yourself by proving that you are politically wrong. You now try to finger something that is very known to everybody. 
that if it is to be co conducted by the Nigerian state, it is INEC that should conduct the referendum. And even you, even beyond the one that you just met here now, the unreliability of INEC, the 2023 concluded selection, you yourself faltered it at all levels, you yourself in particular, just like many other Nigerians faltered it. Then the turn out of the election by itself, just like others, a country where you are having a, a population that is supposed to be within 300 million plus, and in the, at the end of the day, a region will not have up to even, 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 even 20 million voters. And you want to look at what is what standard that is operable in, in 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 Europe. Good. And we are here together. We know about Guinea, who gave thank God you also give the Sudanese government giving room for referendum. We also want to go to that Europe. Even UK gave room for referendum. For people to, if you want to, you know, march out of the union, the EU themselves that you want to call to observe already acknowledge that it is a practicable thing. It is a civilized practice for a government to give room for this. The same you pointed out the case of Sudan. I am also bringing to your knowledge the issue of the the Greenland and the the the, the, the forest in the in Denmark. The Danish people now in 2009 now made it very clear and easy for any of their parts, being the Greenland, the force, who want to, you know, march out of the Union, that it should be a smooth thing. Then here you come, in a government that did not only demonstrate that they don't want to be civilized, but they went as far as making it open. Tinubu in the June 12th, this about uh, two months ago, when they had the June 12th. Eh, tupo aya gakwa nido, muna ifabu ibo media, biya isi ne wotiru nye bozi, kabaru ki metuwa kana share button, and like, yeah, subscribe, button, turn on, on your notification, ebe ese beru metu ya aka, eh, tu sa ya bozi, mwaka continue kwenye ni yaji makia webya. Eh, fake democracy day say that the unity of Nigeria is not negotiable. But beyond Tinubu, you have always heard that from Nigeria. Buhari made it very point blank that if you talk about the disintegration of Nigeria, that you are from that moment seen by the Nigerian security authorities or outfits as a terrorist and you must be treated as such. Then tell me, how do you want, do you now want to now talk about it spiritually? When you talk about Nigerian government conducting and the EU and the, all the nonsense you're talking, now observing it, then are you going to do that in the spirit world? They are very clear that they tell you that, that, the, that the state you are talking about is, is, it's, it's, it's like a thousand years behind the modern state system. They are so barbaric, they are so uncivilized, and yet they want to tell you about the, 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 the democracy. They want to tell you about... Tinobu told you on the 12th, the June day, that they want to hand over a good democratic system to, uh, to the generations of one. Is Tinobu supposed to be in government today? You are in a country that everything is so shrouded with confusion, everything is in opaque, nothing is so trans, nothing is in any major transparent. This is a country you are expecting to conduct referendum, a country that doesn't even know the system of government they practice. They don't even know the economic system they adopt. They don't know if it is a socialist state, if it is a communist state, they don't know if it's a capitalist state. It's funny, a country even it is so made manifest that the leaders of the country also everything about them is so shrouded in the darkness. You had a president whom everybody now know that he had to rule you with Nepal Bill as certificate. 
if you say it, if you say it's a witty uh, 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 allegation, what happened when he was pushed to war to bring this uh, uh, certificate that he said he presented? He now said that it was burnt, it was burnt by the military, and the military said they don't know about what Buhari was talking about. Here again, you have another man who said he wants to continue with the legacy of the same Buhari, and this is the same situation. You don't know his place of birth, you don't know his origin, you don't know his um, his his locality in Nigeria, you don't know his who were his friends, you don't know the school where he said he attended, you don't know who was his classmates, you don't know who, you don't know if he has any certificate at all. And they will sponsor the court in in America had to do Chicago, had to try to unveil these things and everything now was, you know were pumped to, to, to be covered with money. Everything, nothing is clear at all. Are you a democratic country? I am asking you. Is your state a democratic state? You now have admitted that what you are practicing is not even what so what is your problem? What is your problem? Which country now do you want now to approve the referendum? Since you don't want the one that is approved by their self, people themselves. And I want to ask you, you know, when you people talk, when you want to demonstrate knowledge and wisdom, you end up showing the world that you are. So it is not like one animal that was calling in one program. I'm also going to bring his case here. You are telling the world that this state don't even obey that the IMEC you are even expecting to conduct, you you yourself are questioning their credibility. Then how do you want a such a, an organization with a such bad personality, in an, an unreliable body like that, stand to be the one to you know you, you want to entrust such responsibility? Okay, we were even saying they should even do it. We have always called for them to do it. We have now to do it ourselves because we see they don't want to. They are so afraid. You now have to make a very serious blunder here. But thank God that the interviewer, thank God that the presenter here had to put, put your chain. Who told you that the Igbo people don't want to exit? That of course it is the majority opinion of the Igbo people which should make the Nigerian government so afraid to accept it. Because you are confused if you are practicing democracy. There are certain important issues that when they are raised, you also now accepted that that serious issues of concern like this, that the people sometimes don't trust on the credibility of their representatives, that that is the reason we do have referendum and plebiscite. You said it here. So why do you confuse your own self? It is one thing for people to be confused by others, people to be deceived by others. But it is a very serious crime against humanity when a man by himself opts to deceive himself. You are talking about referendum. You are talking about the state actor not being, not, you know, because you want to refer to the legal maxim which states that you cannot be a judge in your own case, Nemo Judas and Kashishua. But your own brother is held by Nigerian state because he has a case with the Nigerian state. And the Nigerian own court is adjudicating on his matter. And the same Nigerian court is afraid of even giving him a free or a leeway to even defend himself. They implanted chips and cameras in his they don't want the camera, the, the barrister to, even with that condition, the barristers are even proceeding. But they keep adjourning the case from today to indefinite until today. So you are, uh, it is good. If it has to do with, it is the same case now you refer to. You were accusing the lady who, when she was a journalist, she she was hiding what the, 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 the what, called, what she was made of. Uh, and now she is in, in appointed. Now she is showing her character of her hatred 
and spite against the Igbo race. Now you are the one now pointing out these things. How come now that you don't know that this is the same thing that is applying? No, you cannot be a judge in your own case. Hey. So when it has to do with the other people, they can be a judge in their own case. When it has to do with your own people, they don't deserve to be a judge in their own case because you want to be politically correct. But God, come on, make sure no say, I have respect for my elders, but when they go as far as misbehaving to the detriment of mass population of people, this is over 17 million people that you joke, you play gamble with their faith, with their destiny. No, oh, if they do the referendum, you don't even think if Igbo people really want that, but it should be done on Yala. So you want the same inconsistent, the same, the same terrible line to be the one now to conduct a referendum for you. I want to ask you, what happened to the census count that you have held all through Nigeria? And why is there no more census in Nigeria? Is your policy is your policy for census not 10 year interval? So when last did you conduct census? Then why not, if not? Because there was fear. There was serious fear. Good luck, Jonathan had to, you know, reveal things that was kept in the dark for a long time. Obasanjo as a coward and as a coward Yoruba he was and acted cowardly as expected when he had the opportunity to reverse the 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 the, the criminal refer, uh, cons, uh, the, the census the manipulated census counts that have that that contributed to the robbing of the southern nigerians it was his time to correct it today as a coward he was and he is still he refused to do that Releasing or opening up of the Kaduna refinery, Obasan John knew of it and he advised Jonathan that there was something like he took Jonathan ordinary bloody civilian to do that. And when it was time to stand for Jonathan, Jonathan wasn't you know obeying all his criminal intentions. He now had to tell the North, you see, Jonathan, he was the one that opened the refinery, the hoarded oil, the hoarded oil. It was Jonathan, he used it against Jonathan. And the North and every other people had to vote against Jonathan. Conspiracy. You say, uh, sometimes you begin to wonder if there are really some conspiracy theory. You people are now sensing if there are conspiracy theory. You don't know if there is conspiracy theory. When you even, we even speak grammar, I don't know. You speak English that should even be simple. It looks as if it's so elusive. And it's so difficult to, 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 to demystify. Whether there is conspiracy, when you, what do you mean by conspiracy theory? That a particular race is hated so much, the, you have heard where the other of like, they say they will push Dibos to Lagoon, you heard the Shetima, the current vice president, say they will push Dibos to Lagoon, they will finish them up, you pointed at different people who have made certain and certain comments. And you are still asking, sometimes you are even wondering if there are a conspiracy theory against Igbo. Then what is conspiracy? What they are saying is that not conspiracy already, that they are going to push you. It is a plan. That is why we need to we need to we need to go away from this Nigerian state. We need to have a state where education should be worth it. It should be, it should be worthwhile. Because the kind of education you guys have. I put them in doubt. You contradict yourself a lot. Oh, now, now the referendum has been conducted. Who is going to enforce it? You are asking that question. As a man who I suppose has a political science background, you are asking who is going to enforce it? Oh, and why should it be conducted? Myself. All these things you are studying in political science. Is that not what practice that other people brought into limelight and it is today studied? When the Norway and the Denmarks had their own in the 14th, 
was it not studied? Is it not studied today? Or was it 17th? We are studying about it today. We, people bring in, when America had to break with their own approach, who went to observe it for them? But let me not go that backward. Let me tell you, you brought about 2014. Let me tell you about 2014. 2014 was the case of beyond the one you mentioned. Let me not mention the one you mentioned. Let me think of another place. Do you know the place they call Ukraine? Uh, you know, good. And you know the place they call Crimea? Good. And Crimea is like the evils in Nigeria to what it is uh, to the Ukrainians. And Crimeans say they want to opt out of Ukraine Union. Did Ukraine accept their move? No. Did Eritrea you mentioned accept? Uh, did Ethiopia accept that of Eritrea? No. Did it result to gun running? Yes. Have you heard that sometimes freedom is taken, not given? Yes. Of that government or slavery. To the United States, to the West, and to every other world power that cares to know. Part of the grievances will be the killings by the terrorists and the high level corruption and political crisis that Nigeria has found itself today without any solution. Since the last election, which the European Union condemned, which the United Nations condemned, which the America condemned, and faulted everything that has to do with the result of the last election, yet they are recognizing the criminal who called himself Tinubu as the president. Because Nigerians are stupid. Nobody rise up against because everybody has been captured and enslaved with terrorism. If you do the killing, they assassinate him. That's why many of them are bragging. Whenever we talk, they say, Samaritan, come to Nigeria so we believe you. You know why? Because they think that we are going to be as stupid as those people that have killed in the past. Tensara Omiwa, should we start mentioning that? Anybody that rises up to challenge the impunity of the Nigerian state, the terrorist state, they eliminate the person. What is the uh, other man, the Yoga man, Gane Kawemi uh, or whatever he's called, who was assassinated? These are people who think they can make changes within the Nigerian state. It's impossible. Even this criminal called uh, uh, Tinubu, he ran away. He would have been killed by the military uh, administration then because. He thought that uh, he can do, he can move, have any political movement, you know, to change whatever he want to change there. Before he became back to become the governor, he ran away to exile, and probably France, because I know he has a very good uh, relationship with people like France. Now, just like the United States, we are going to present Biafra after second of December as the only enemy to the political crisis in Nigeria today. We will present Biafra as the only remedy to the upsurge of terrorists in the Sahel. I am telling you, nobody will see what we are doing today as a government in exile and don't give us that particular opportunity. We have proven beyond reasonable doubt that as a Nigeria as a failed state, the only remedy that will save the life of people and also save the interests of the West, because no matter how you want to say it, we still have to protect the interests of the West which goes a very long way in making sure that our society still remain in the same, we still remain in the same society. Both in conflict-wise, insecurity-wise, national security, and what have you. So, Nigeria no longer functions as a law-governed state, capable of resolving its current political and economic crisis. My people of Biafra, our declaration in December is providing a remedy, providing alternative to the Biafra people and to the world and to those who have business interest in the area, in Sahel area, Sahel region and in Nigeria as a whole because this is going to affect them positively. So Nigeria has found itself in a situation where they have become incapacitated 
they are not capable of resolving every crisis that they are facing today. So the state is already a failed state. So what are we going to do in December 2nd? Our declaration will offer solution. And like I said, remedy, remedy, remedy to the economic crisis, to the insecurity, to the onset of terrorism, and what have you. And we believe that those who supported Nigeria to commit genocide against the Afrans in the 60s must be very ashamed of themselves today. Though, we can see that many of them who are very corrupt, and I'm talking about those in America, for example, like, you know, some of them that we have seen removing Nigeria from uh, from the list of, uh, uh, you know, uh, special interest of the state that, uh, that uh, you know, uh, have committed crime against Christ Christians, for example. Those who remove Nigeria without investigation, uh, you know, they are struggling, struggling very hard, trying not to look stupid by their continual support for the Nigeria, even when they knew that Nigeria is already a failed state. The more they try to revive Nigeria following their fake diplomatic ties, and the more Nigeria will continue to fail them. So, my people, there is no two ways about it. This time around, we have come to outsmart the normandic system of Nigeria. And of course, our aim and objective is to bring and restore true democracy in the Afro land, which will affect the entire region. After December 2nd, we will move to the next level, which I call the phase two of the Biafra liberation. Which this phase two will see the establishment and the activating and the activation of the state institution within Biafra land, which is already functional as I speak. That will take over the, uh, the Nigeria state for, uh, functions, we take over the functions of other institutions of the Nigeria state. And that is the part of the delegitimization of Nigeria. And by announcing the United States of Biafra commitment to several international sanctioned principles, policies, and international recognized organization that Nigeria never had, we are going to make sure we approach every international organization that Nigeria has violated their treaties with impunity. Providing Biafra to them and presented the offer as a remedy and alternative. With what we have done so far, we have been able to prove beyond reasonable doubt that you can't forge any document in the offer and present it anywhere. We have eliminated the possibility to forge document, all like the runners and all the criminals in Yoruba land are doing. That's what they do, they make a living by forging. So my people in the United States, for those who are very, very unsure of what will happen after December 2nd, I am telling you now, giving you a hint. Our declaration of independence or declaration of the restoration of independence of Biafra will be expected to legitimize the Biafra government in the eye of other non terrorist states. This is going to take a very long time and requires many diplomatic approach, political approach, and of course, it also requires commitment from the Biafra government, which I believe we are not shaking from that end. In turn, we will be expected to recognize Biafra, and we don't care how long this will take. This kind of legitimization of Biafra state will be culminated in the quest or in our request or appeal to other states and international organizations to recognize the independence of Biafra, our grievances that were expected to be listed on the declaration document has been drafted or has been drafted by our uh, committee on the declaration or of the uh, declaration drafting committee will include the grievance declaration, the institutionalizing declaration, and the commitment declaration. I want you all in the United States to listen to this. Very, very important. We are going to have three major grievances in our declaration document. And so, 
If you don't know what we are doing, we are fighting Nigeria academically. We are fighting Nigeria with brain. We are fighting Nigeria physically, and we are fighting Nigeria with God. So what? What am I? Let me repeat it again. I said the declaration of the Declaration of Independence of Biafra will cover three major grievances. One is grievances declaration, institutionalizing declaration, and the commitment declaration. And this different declaration will be will elaborated during the time of our convention in Finland. So when you come to Finland, you're going to have first-hand information, and you are going to read the history, be part of the history, and see where the history is happening. So that you will not say they told you, or you will not say you watch it from the social media. No. You are going to be there. Those who are privileged to come to Finland, you will be there to witness this thing yourself, how it is done. So, and then after that, you know, when I made a, a video the other day to explain to Biafra, we will be expecting that immediately after the declaration, the police will disappear from Biafra. No, the military will disappear. Of course, the most of them use it to book propaganda, which it does, it doesn't move us. Because the thing is that they don't know what we are doing, they don't have information, and they will never have information. And even if they do, they will never support Biafra. I will not expect everyone to support Biafra. Like I've said uh, previously, even this Finland, when they voted 88 over 100, you know how many that voted for Finland Declaration of Independence. So what I'm trying to say is that the United States, both the Africans in the United States, all of you must understand that the Declaration of the Restoration of Independence of Biafra in December is going to come with a heavy Edward Cannon. Edward Cannon to the enemies, both the outside and within. And so we are going to be taking a little bit step forward to the Edward Cannon that is happening presently. It is a must. So those who think that uh, uh, Simon Epa is laughing at them or laughing with them, my brother, don't look at this laugh and this face. I have always warned, if you follow this face, you will be deceived. I am not here with a claim I fighting for Biafra. Fighting against Nigeria, Islamic State. Fighting against the terrorist state of Nigeria, Egeria, Anyama, and the San Nigeria. Don't look this face, it will be sticky. I want to assure you that in the coming weeks of this lockdown of Nigeria institution, it's going to be a light most test of what is to come. We will continue to prove to Nigeria terrorist state that they have lost every leg legitimacy to govern anybody in their territory. That is our target. There is no other target we have. The reason why this one month lockdown of Nigeria institution in Biafra land is to prove to them that they have lost legitimacy. And if they try to bring those terrorists to kill our people and put it on Biafra people who are ready to take it upon them or take it with them, we are not going to move any inch backward in the sense that when they try to kill people, they say, oh, so when they put uh, the lockdown, they are locking. Uh, that's why. If you make yourself a willing tool, you have yourself to blame, and your family will ever regret allowing you to be used as a propaganda machine for the Nigerian state. Nothing is going to come out of it, I promise you. Do not fall a victim of the Nigerian state because of your hatred for freedom. Do not fall a victim of the Nigerian state because of the penalty you receive from the Secretariat. Secretariat will be raised in time to come, I am telling you. We will have a, we are still watching them. Let any secretariat open and you see what Biafra is going to do to that secretariat. That land belongs to us and we dictate and decide how we use it. And after that, we will rebuild our land. So Biafra government need your support to make sure that we achieve this particular step by step, the legitimization of Nigeria. Until Hello, my wonderful people, as we are finished watching this interesting video, Please, I want to see your comment, your contribution, your opinion in the comment section. Like I said earlier, let us do it constructively. Tell me what you think about this uh, video that you have just watched and also about the platform. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please remember to subscribe, put on your notification bell, share this video and remain blessed. And by Consider in a Ibo media, boy by sea with the Dunia Bo, Ozi Joe Kemper.
mastama kaya brief bia from prime minister kuri ni ruaku kwa nomba si wolo chingeta e kifi wole ku mastama kaya brief nda ni no ku gasi di chicha e drop ora ifi chini ni ruaku kwa a commentation na ibo media and by as na ni boya ade na ya de kechi e cha da wo wo ise 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 thank you and god bless you